All right, so another huge benefit of vapor honing versus dry blasting is the fact that being flow based, which we talked about in the beginning, following the peak in the valley of a park. This does a couple things for us. We get a very clean surface because we're able to clean the little valleys versus the peaks as well. Also being flow based, we're not removing those peaks tremendously, so we're not changing the surface and the integrity and the functionality of the part. We're just again flowing and running over that surface, whether it's aluminum oxide, silicon carbide, glass bead. That's where a lot of times we run into problems where we're trying to smooth maybe a really rough surface and we would have to use a bigger particle to be able to hit the top of that peak versus go down into the valley of that surface. There's advantages to being able to follow the topography, but sometimes when you're trying to smooth the part even more, if it's a very rough surface, it's very difficult to do because you have to use a very large bead in doing so. But hopefully that helps a little bit about following the topography of the surface and the effectiveness behind that, specifically in coating preparation.